Yeah, my, my, my advice to young writers is always like, it, whether they're, a lot of people ask me like, how do you pitch something? And I find that the, 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 the which is a really good question because that's, that's the nature of the beast. Like, how do you, and, and, and a lot of people get it wrong and I, and I actually feel like it's good advice that I have unlike the other stuff. Um, the, 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 when, you, when you're pitching a show, and I think this extends to when you're then executing a show, this is how you do a good pitch. Remember when you were at that party and, and you asked someone if they had seen Game of Thrones and, because it's your favorite show and they said, no, I've never seen Game of Thrones and you proceeded to tell them why they should watch it? That's a good pitch. That's you pitching a show that's you selling the show. You, you're so enthusiastic about it, you know exactly how long to talk about exactly the right elements of the show. When you're, so when you're sitting on a couch and there's some, you know, one of these weird monsters that, 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 that buy some shows... Uh, sitting across from you, just f- forget that they exist because they don't have to. And, and, and I, God told me that. Um, they actually, they're made of kale. Uh, animated kale. They don't, they're golems. They don't have, they have, they have there's jars of organs in, in, in an underground thing in Malibu that, that there was used to animate them. So that, those, that's human tissue. But, but this is all like seaweed and kale, um, spray painted orange. With a tie on it, and a, or maybe that's a, all a, Jews, and a, and, a, <laughs> um, and, and, and a schmear, uh, the, the, the bagel. The, so when you're when you're when you're pitching, and I, I know this extends when you're writing, pit, pit, when you're trying to come up with an idea for your show, picture yourself sitting in front of a television. Start with this. Start with this image. Start with the image of your face, going, "Holy shit." Oh my God, this is the most amazing show I've ever seen. I'm going to watch every episode of this. I love this show. Now, flip the camera and reveal what's on the TV. What would make you do that? The answer might be, it's a lot like X-Files, but they, they, they go through a portal and there's a, there's a musical guest. I, like, like, it, can, it, it, it can be derivative. You can start with your favorite show. Like that's, TV is, by nature delightfully derivative like like we, we exchange like these myths about these modern Ulysses and then they, they, they I, I'm talking way too the long so, Jackie you, you, moment. You, you, <laughs> so so that's that's that is my advice and then when you're right so you always just please yourself don't listen to anybody that ever tells you anything like uh, uh, well this joke's kind of a head scratcher that's a three percenter let's make that a ten percenter T- take a piece of broken glass and slit that person's throat <laughs> And then, and then, and then, yeah, and then, no, do it mean. Uh, They're but when you agree, like, I feel like the one thing that I've, I've finally learned, like, way late was that you don't have to, like, take every note. Because like, they don't even know what, they don't even remember the notes that they've given you. They just want to give you notes. So if you, you don't just, have to take any. What are they going to do, fire you? They will have to rehire you later. <laughs> you don't have to take any notes. Call their bluff if we all do it. They can't do anything. They can't arrest you for not listening to an idiot. It's true. I mean, if none of us took any notes ever, then, then, then they wouldn't be able to replace us with anybody. We could just make television. We would be a union, a class of creatives. We used to rule when we were cavemen. The storytellers ruled the tribe. The dumb people went out and risked their lives. We stayed home and wrote stories about it and got laid. We were the kings. We, we were the Cheneys. We were behind the curtain. We had all the power. The and look what we've become. They've got us jammed into windowless rooms with this Henry Ford rewrite each other. And he's like, break a pool cue and half, throw it in the middle of the room. And as it, like the Joker recruiting people. Like, we don't have to turn on each other. We don't have to rewrite our shit. You wake up in the morning and say, I refuse to be a hack and see what happens by the I end of the day. I want to get one more question in. I want to get one more question in. Give a round of applause for that.